Hi, today we're at Kemlin Bay on Anglesey and we've come to photograph the Sandwich Turns. It's a very wide bay and very pebbly based so it's hard walking to get across it but you can park at both the east end and the west end and then walk in. There's a roped off area where you can't go over so you can't get any closer to the turns but it's very good for flight photography. Probably the best place in the UK for photographing sandwich turns in flight. You can do sandwich turns on the Farn Islands and Brownsey Island, but here you've got access first thing in the morning when you come in at the east end and last thing of the night and the, the light is, is in the right direction then. We'll start off by looking at a map. I'm sure you can find Kemlin Bay for yourself. It's in the northwest corner of Anglesey. There are two car parks, both of them free and both open 24 hours a day. There's the west car park and the east car park. The turns are more or less in the middle but slightly closer to the west car park so that's where I would normally enter from. And another place worth visiting while you're doing the turns is this headland. Over the years I've done very well here. I've done oyster catchers, wheat ears amongst the spring flowers, linnets, white throats and on one occasion a stoat which kept me entertained for a long time. The top of the beach is roped off during the nesting season. You have to stay on the downside of the rope but you still get a very good view of the island in the middle of the lagoon. There are 4,000 sandwich turns here, 400 arctic turns and 400 common turns. But also if we quickly pan the camera to the left hand side there's one other turn. One of the rarer turns in the UK, the roseate turn. There it is by the post, it's got the black bill which it's just going to hide behind the post. If I swap camera positions we can just about see it. It's the right hand of those two birds. There's been up to three roseate turns this year but this is the only one that stayed and it's bred but interbred with a common turn. If you think I did well to spot that by the way, I didn't. The warden pointed it out to me. It's not a good place to photograph oyster catchers. They don't normally come very close, so I was very lucky here. This one landed in front of me in the lagoon. It's a spectacular sight when all the turns take off together. You'll notice the birds are facing towards us on the whole and they tend to fly towards you because the wind is coming in off the sea which is why it's so good for flight photography it's a very predictable flight path what you tend to do is pre-focus on the floor at about the distance where you want to photograph the bird and then try and pick up on it as it's coming towards you and press the autofocus button just as it's coming into the correct image size autofocus works much better in stills mode than it does in video the video is really struggling to follow this bird but stills wise the Sony A1 finds it so easy. I'm using the 200-600 Sony lens and I continue to be delighted with the A1 for its autofocus abilities. I don't normally like flight shots when the wings are straight out like that. I prefer them on the upbeat or the downbeat. Exposure was fairly straightforward because I've got a blue sky behind it. I can really just work point and shoot. I tend to like two colours in the background. A nice mixture between green and blue. That works well for me. And generally speaking it's easier for the autofocus to work on a bird that's going sideways across you. You get a side view of it. It's more difficult when the bird's coming head on towards you but this camera does manage it. Here's a couple of head-on shots. Sometimes the birds come incredibly close, maybe two meters away from you. They're used to people standing on that ridge. Shutter speeds, 2,500th of a second for all of these pictures. The aperture wide open because it's not a very fast lens. It's the ISO that's varying. I'm shooting on auto ISO. That was typically about 1,600. 
there's no one best place to stand sometimes i come lower down the beach and i'm trying to photograph the birds as they come over the the ridge and other times i stand up on the ridge and try and pick them up a bit earlier the wind predominantly comes in from the sea although sometimes it can be in a different direction but the birds go slightly slower of course when they're flying into the wind and it tends to be a, a windy place if you stand very close to the rope occasionally birds are landing on the shore on this side of the lagoon and you can get pictures of the terns and these black-headed gulls there's a lot of vegetation in the way and that will vary from year to year here we have two gulls squabbling the right hand bird is protecting its chick whether the left hand one is a stranger or its mate I don't know sandwich turns it's only a very limited amount of beach you can photograph these on black headed gold chick chasing off the sandwich turn and an arctic turn behind it sandwich turns again The right hand bird is a common term because it has a black tip to the bill. The chances of getting a roseate turn on the edge of the water is pretty remote. And it would be very difficult to photograph that bird in flight as well because you've got to identify it amongst all the others flying around. Roseate turns are paler than the other turns and that is noticeable in flight but it would be very difficult to pick it out. But it did used to be the place to photograph roseate terns years ago when there were more numerous there. Sandwich turn. I deliberately do birds smaller in the frame than I used to so that when they do a wing stretch I don't clip the wings and with the Sony A1 I get such huge files I can aggressively crop them. A black headed gull with a crab and what surprises me here is it's all by himself. Where's the other gulls mobbing it? managed to find an isolated spot and a slow motion shot of a black headed gull taking off this is 120 frames per second it is hard work walking across this beach when the tide is out it's worth going down to the right hand side amongst the rocks and just sitting there perhaps take a camping stool and a bit of scrimming to cover yourself but you can get close to the turns on the water's edge here and the gulls and even oyster catchers and just a few flight shots this is arctic turn common turn same shutter speed 2500th of a second lens wide open I believe I've only closed this lens down on one occasion so far because it's not a very fast lens to start with more black headed gulls usually the terns are carrying fish when they come in from the sea and they're flying very fast because they have the wind behind them but occasionally they will cross the ridge and then circle round in front of you. The only other bird I got to photograph on Anglesey on this trip was a rock pipit. On a wild coast, rock pipits can be very nervous birds. You don't get anywhere near to them. But also in our little towns and villages on the coast, they can be very tame and approachable in the harbours. There can be people around and they're taking no notice whatsoever and the people take no notice of them because they just look like a sparrow thanks for watching